Hey guys, Skylar here. So I wanted to do an unboxing because I went and purchased a um, Sleepgram like duvet comforter. Um, the one thing is right off the bat is uh, this isn't brand new. This is a return. Uh, as you can see, this the tape doesn't stick anymore. There's a giant hole right here. Um, and my return label quite literally says from the returns department. So it's like, great, that's uh, not a great first impression for a product. Um, but let's go ahead and see if it's at least like in good condition. Because if it's damaged, I'll be so mad. Alright, so let's get this tape off. because I will do it. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. Got the little logo. As you can see here. Little sleep land. Sleep land. Sleep gram logo. Alright. Uh, well, first thing I notice is they still have the wonderful little instruction booklet thing. Which basically just tells you about it and how to take care of it. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, it comes in a travel bag. I was wondering what this bag was. If it's just like a storage thing, but it's a travel bag, supposedly. Storage and travel, pop this spot in the clue under your bed, in your closet, or behind your headboard. Now there's a window there. Uh, let's see. So it says remove and fluff up your comforter. We recommend initial fluffing in your dryer. You can put your sleeping comforter in a duvet cover or just sleep with it as is. It is machine washable. Uh, which is great. Yeah, and this just talks about like how it has like piping and stuff to keep everything in place. A little bedtime story to read, which is kind of cool. Um, but just basically to talk about like how to sleep better and also how to take care of it. Uh, which it says to wash it on uh, gentle cycle, mild detergent, and then um, medium or low heat. So honestly, wash it in cold water is probably the best. Um, it says to dry on low in a tumble or preferably no heat, and then um, to just use dryer balls or tennis balls so it can kind of fluff it, and then just repeat until it's completely dry, basically. Okay. And then of course, because um, I did purchase through Seatram uh, directly, I do get a 100 night trial. That's what worries me, is that this was a return, so it's like, did someone return because they just didn't like it, or did it return because something wrong with it? All right. Well, the bag looks like it's in good condition still. The only thing I do like is it has a little pouch right here. So you can actually keep your care instructions right there. Boom, care instructions. So you don't have to worry about losing them. All right, initial thought, this is a uh, king size, or it should be. I'll be mad if it's not king. Um, but this should be a king size in here. Uh, because I have a queen bed, but I use a king size duvet because it just obviously lays over your bed. So the queen just, it isn't big enough. Because most queens are like 90 by 90 usually. Um, which is great if you don't have a thick mattress. Mine's like four, 14 inches thick, so uh, queen duvet doesn't actually cover it. Alright. Ooh! This one's really soft. Oh, look at their little piping. Good, the tags are still on, okay. Well, I like this. So let's get this out. Oh, it's very soft, very, it's very light. I'm a little surprised. Um, but as you can see, it's when it's folded, it's pretty thick. So that's kind of great. Um, the bag's in good condition, so whoever has this for me did not ruin the bag, A plus. Um, the one thing I like is there's a little bit of pipe, man. I'm gonna show you guys, so hold on. Let me get closer. I'm really bad at camera setup, I'm sorry guys. But if you look right here, I was gonna zoom in well, but get the little piping for Sleepgram, which I really appreciate, it's a nice touch. Okay, so let's take an individual layer, because that's what I really wanna know, so. Yeah, it's pretty thin, but it's like, you know, I probably could fluff it myself in all honesty. But now it's like, I'm just feeling the different compartments, and there's fluff in each of them, so that's that's awesome. Uh, 
All right, let's check something real quick. Make sure this is the right size, because I do care about that. Uh, yeah, so the shell is 100% cotton, which is awesome. And yep, yeah, right here, this is a king. 104 by 94, so that is king. It's Cali King, which is fine. Okay. So let's do this. I'm curious, like, how much does this compress? Yeah, so. It respawns pretty quickly, which is awesome, so. I am curious, and anytime something gets returned, either the person didn't like it, or there was something wrong with it. So, let's see. So, how do we have this folded? So, is it just like... Yeah, it's just folded over itself. Okay, that's... Oh, jeez. That's fine. So, I gotta take note, because I store this. Um, so I'm gonna actually take my other duvet, and I'm gonna put it in that bag. Um, or I'll just, um, put it in the back of the bag, so... Alright, so let's, like, open this, but I gotta make sure there's, like, no stains or tears or anything. Oh, okay. It smells chemically, but that's because they probably just been sitting in a bag and they probably washed. I wouldn't be surprised. It's really wrinkly. Alright, and ah uh, yes, so this has little... I don't know if you can see that, but it has little duvet loops, so you can actually tie your duvet in, which I much appreciate, because I do have duvets with covers... Oh, no, covers with ties. My duvet covers are from Brooklinen. I love them to death. I actually have some new bedding coming from them, and hopefully the next week or so. Uh, I got their linen bedding, their literal linen. So I do plan on doing a real unboxing, because people are still mad about the <laughs> clickbait ones I did. Um, oh wow. Up here is really fluffy still. Like this is super fluffy up here, which I, I love. Because I've had a down alternative, but it wasn't like super fluffy. But I can imagine that once it's fluffed, it's gonna be like. They probably could fluff it by hand, in all honesty. Oh. oh. But it is so soft. Just. Mm. But I'm not seeing any stains anywhere. That's awesome. But up here, the top, it's like. It is so. It is so fluffed. And I like that the piping detail, they mentioned this in the book, but it has a thick piping all around like the edge, which is really nice, because that's going to help keep it everything in place. Um, one thing I am noticing, though, is that uh, some of the piping, like the stitching in between, uh, it's not really attached to itself that much anymore. So. That's a bit of annoyance, but some of it's good, some of it's not. I can I can feel where you can kind of slide some material through, but it should be okay overall. But it's like, it is, now it's not like compressed in there, it is starting to kind of... Oh yeah, I can feel, yeah. Alright guys, so I know this is kind of a weird unboxing because it's a comforter, uh, slash kind of duvet insert. Um, so this is the Kelly King duvet cover, I do care, <laughs> Kelly King uh, duvet. Uh, I believe this is normally $240, or I think it was like $239.99. Um, if you've never ordered from them, uh, typically they will give you like a 10% coupon when you go to the website. Yeah, I am excited. So 10% off, like basically $24 off. So I only paid about $216 for it, which is awesome. Um, I do also have their pillows, which are great. Um, they're the same same filling. Uh, the one thing about their pillows is you do want to fluff them in a dryer because they're like this polyfill. And hand fluffing doesn't get the same effect as putting in a dryer for about 10 minutes, low heat preferably. So if you want it done quick, if you have the time, half an hour on like an air fluff work just fine. I think I should be pretty happy because I don't see any stains. It's really soft. I'm assuming maybe the other person just it just wasn't their thing because the thing is this is down turf. It's a poly micro poly fill. So people don't tend to like this. Um, but I'm still a little mad at the box. 
I am gonna keep it in case I need it though. Um, because I am obviously gonna keep checks. And another thing, the 100 night trial, FYI, that starts from the day you order, which is a little annoying in my opinion. It is from the day you order it. Um, which is why it's 100 nights. Um, in my case, it's 98, because I ordered mine on, um, I ordered mine this past Thursday. It's, today is Saturday the 4th. Uh, I ordered mine Thursday night, around like, almost midnight. This shipped on Friday, um, cause I guess their return area is in New Jersey and I'm in Maine. So this got here quite literally pretty much overnight from Friday. So that was kind of nice. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get this fluffed up and put into my duvet cover. And uh, next time you see me, I will uh, probably be doing an unboxing from Brooklinen for their actual linen line. But yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye.